Hello, and welcome to the Spring 2021 Blinn College District Commencement Exercise. This marks the 144th Commencement Ceremony in Blinn College history. We regret that we cannot come together this evening to celebrate this milestone in your educational career. However, we hope that today's commencement serves as a symbol of our pride in your accomplishment and a recognition of your hard work and dedication. At this time, I would like to ask the Blinn Choir, led by Director of Choral Studies, Dr. Paulo Gomez, and accompanied by pianist, Dr. Jai Young Hong, to sing the national anthem. This will be followed by the alma mater and the invocation given by Rachel Barnett. If you would please bow your heads and join me in prayer. Dear Lord, I just want to thank you for today and thank you for each student that is graduating. I thank you that you have given each student the opportunity to learn and grow in these past years at Blinn College. I pray that you would remind us that we would not be here without you. I pray that you would help each of these graduates to use their knowledge and skills that they have gained throughout the rest of their education or in the next steps that they take in their future or career. I pray that you would be their strength through any hard challenges that life throws at them and that this would be a time of reflection on all that you have done for us. I thank you for each teacher, family member, or friend that has got each of these graduates to where they are today. As this chapter closes and another one opens, I pray that you would continue to watch over each one of us. I pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Graduates, members of the Board of Trustees, parents, faculty, staff, and friends, Welcome to the Blinn College District Spring 2021 Commencement Ceremony. It is my honor to join you in saluting these graduating students. Today, we recognize their hard work, commitment to education, 
and achievement in graduating from one of the top community colleges in the state of Texas. Blinn's commencement ceremony has a proud and rich tradition. It acknowledges achievement and scholarship and signifies a milestone in each graduate's life. It also signifies the beginning of a new journey. Graduates, when you came to us, our responsibility as an institution of higher learning was to present you with new thoughts and ideas, to challenge your perspective and encourage you to think critically. Today, we attest that you have met the requirements associated with your program of study, and we acknowledge your scholarship, tenacity, and perseverance. We also commend your parents, friends, and loved ones in the audience. Throughout your time at Blinn, they have provided you with guidance, support, and inspiration, and we thank them for playing a key role in your success. Another group also was instrumental to your success, Blinn College's academic deans and faculty. We are privileged to have exceptional educators committed to student success and personal and academic growth. I also would like to introduce the Blinn College District Trustees, who volunteer countless hours to ensure that Blinn continues its long-standing tradition of affordable academic excellence and student success. They are Board Chair Charles Mosier, Board Vice Chair Jim Kolkhorst, Board Secretary Teddy Bame, Trustee Randy Wells, Trustee Douglas Bohart, Trustee Rebecca Ehlert, and Trustee Dennis Krausen. I would now like to invite Dr. Becky McBride, Vice Chancellor for Student Services, to introduce the graduates speaking on behalf of the Blinn College graduating class of Spring 2021. Good evening. It is my honor and privilege to introduce our Spring 2021 commencement speakers. These students are selected as a result of their academic achievement and their passion for Blinn, its mission, and its values. First, I would like to introduce Amani Landers. Amani comes from a military family and spent most of her life overseas. During her sophomore year of high school, she moved to the United States for the first time and graduated from Steele High School outside San Antonio. She chose to continue her education at Blinn, where she became a resident assistant and a manager for the women's basketball team. A criminal justice major, Amani will transfer to Sam Houston State to pursue her bachelor's degree. Her goal is to join the military and eventually become an FBI agent. Outside of her college responsibilities, Amani enjoys spending time with her family, going to the gym, and building toward her future. Please join me in welcoming Amani Landers. Good evening, my fellow classmates, parents, and friends. Congratulations, graduates, you did it. Cheers to another milestone and achievement in your life, graduating college. Embrace this time with pride and happiness, for you have worked so hard to reach this point, and your hard work has not gone to waste. A high school diploma is a fantastic tool to have under your belt, but to have a degree in the subject that you enjoy most is rather fulfilling and should be held to the utmost respect. This is a happy time, a time for laughs and excitement, a time for memories to be made, a time for love, support, and celebration from you and your family. Today is the day that you have been waiting for for so long. Graduation doesn't have to be the end of your story, but the beginning of your life. Let this be the motivation you need to know that you can accomplish anything you want and handle whatever life throws at you. Today is the beginning of a new chapter in your life. For some, it is the time to get on with your life and be able to put that common saying into action. No more school, no more books, no more teachers. For others, it is to start in, into the direction that you are looking to go, whether that be continuing your education at your dream university, going to that dream internship, or starting that job that you have fantasized about for days. Wherever you decide to allow your future to go, let it take you somewhere. Life is a journey that should be filled with accomplishments, milestones, and lessons. 
It is about growing to know yourself better and understanding certain lessons in life. Not only should you commemorate yourself on graduating, but also getting through COVID-19 and all the changes that has brought is a testimony in itself and should not go unnoticed. You are part of a group that has witnessed firsthand a disease that hit the world. You endured, adapted, and overcame those challenges that hit you. And for that, you are not only a stronger person, but a part of history. Today, you prove that you can take whatever life throws at you and you are capable of achieving any and everything you want. In closing, be proud of those accomplishments that you have made thus far. I wish you all the best of luck in your journey and congratulations again to the class of 2021. Thank you, Amani. Our next speaker is Peyton Cooper. Peyton grew up in Spring, Texas and moved to Bryan when she was 19 to pursue a degree in nursing. Her dream is to become a pediatric oncology nurse and to make a difference in the lives of children and their families. While attending Blinn, Peyton completed her associate degree in liberal arts and is now seeking an associate degree in kinesiology. This summer, she will begin the nursing school application process. When she isn't studying or working at a local hospital as a patient care assistant, Peyton enjoys spending time with her three-year-old daughter, crafting and traveling. Please join me in welcoming Peyton Cooper. Hi, I'm Peyton Cooper. To my fellow peers, today is one of great celebration and a reflection of all the hard work that has gone into our education. To the Blend faculty, thank you. Thank you for not letting me give up on myself when things got hard and I felt like my world was crumbling down around me. Thank you for giving me the tools needed not only to be successful in my future educational endeavors but also in life. One of my biggest goals growing up was always to be the first of many generations in my family to graduate with a college degree, which I reached that goal today. I came from a background of many doubting I would even get to this point in my life. I was continuously told to go to trade school or go to work for a big department store and move my way up to manager. However, the educators in Blinn College District never had any doubts. They were eager to see me succeed in any educational goals I presented to them, and they were willing to help in any way possible. I came to Blinn in the fall of 2016, going into my third semester of college, moving away from everything I'd ever known. It was an adjustment, one that I didn't adjust too well. I became pregnant with my beautiful daughter at the age of 20. I was scared, lost, and didn't know what I was going to do. I decided at that point the best decision for me moving forward was to withdraw from school. I, however, promised myself that I would return when I felt the time was right and that I could handle being a new mom. I got a job at a local hospital as a patient care assistant and fell in love with the medical field more than I could have ever imagined. Between my love for the medical field and wanting to provide my daughter more than I ever had, I knew I needed to go back to school. I knew that I needed not only to do this for myself, but to set a good example for her and show her that no matter what obstacle you face, you can overcome it with hard work and determination. I planned on going back to school in fall of 2019 full time. However, I got a call in August that my beloved grandfather had a heart attack and I needed to get out there right away. Unfortunately, he passed away a few hours after I got to him. So I set out another semester of school taking time to grieve. I wasn't sure at that point I'd go back to school or graduate with any sort of degree before the age of 30. However, when I felt ready and knew that I had the family support I needed to take on this, Blinn was there waiting for me with open arms to continue my educational goals. The academic advisors were some of the most supportive people I've ever met. They told me what I needed to do to achieve my goals and what was the best route moving forward. I went back to school in 2020 full-time, along with raising my daughter full-time and working full-time. Again, I had many doubting I'd even make it through my first semester without dropping a course or at least failing some courses trying to juggle everything. There was some times I even let those doubts get into my head, especially when I struggled to figure out how to study for college level courses. However, it was the professors here at Blinn that kept pushing me through, encouraging me, and would spend countless hours with me trying to figure out what the best approach for studying was for me. If it weren't for these professors spending time with me any time I was concerned about how to study, or even if I was comprehending the material correctly, I don't think I'd be standing here before you today. So to my fellow peers, I stand here before you. I'm here to say that no matter what curveballs life throws at you, don't give up on your dreams. Don't let other people discourage you from going after something that might seem impossible, but, pushing, but keep pushing when things get hard. If you do, the outcome far exceeds anything that you could have ever imagined. To so the Blend faculty, thank you. Thank you for pushing me to get to this point. Thank you for showing me that hard work and determination will pay off even when life knocks you down. 
Thank you for not allowing me to give up and the constant encouragement to keep moving forward and keep giving me guidance in regards to my academic career. Lastly, to the class of 2021, we did it. Thank you, Peyton. At this time, Dr. Marcelo Busicki, Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, will present the academic candidates, and Jay Anderson, Vice Chancellor for Health Sciences, Technical Education, and Community Programs, will present the technical candidates. Chancellor Hensley, I have the honor to introduce to you the candidates for the Associate of Arts, Field of Study Associate of Arts, Associate of Arts in Teaching, and Associate of Science Awards who have completed the requirements for those respective degrees. Chancellor Hensley, I have the honor to introduce to you the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree, Level 1 and Level 2 Certificates and Occupational Skills Achievement Awards, who have completed the requirements for those respective awards. Upon the recommendation of the Blinn College District faculty and by the authority of the Board of Trustees of the Blinn College District, I confer upon each of you the following degrees and awards. Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Arts, Field of Study Associate of Arts, Associate of Arts in Teaching, Associate of Science, Certificates, and Occupational Skills Achievement Awards. Congratulations.
Congratulations, graduates. Blinn is proud of you, and we look forward to hearing about your future successes. Now, for the moment we all have been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, as Chancellor of the Blinn College District, it is my honor to present to you the Blinn College Spring Class of 2021. Graduates, you may now acknowledge receipt of your degree by changing the tassel from the right to the left side of your caps. Thank you for joining us. This concludes Blinn College's Spring 2021 Commencement Ceremony.